Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for having me here for this discussion. I am one of those that are very happy to see that we are moving from the discussion on peace, security, solidarity, stability to economy. Actually, the goal of our government is to make sure that in the near future, when we meet our international friends and partners, the discussion doesn't start with questions about tensions, eventual tensions, about peace and stability, but the questions are, how did you manage that economic growth of more than 10%? How did you manage this forced accession towards EU? How did you, are you managing the energy situation and others? So we are looking forward for a new steady state where economy is in the forefront and not security, security issues. I will want to, want to design uh, my introductory speech around five questions that I want to address. The first, of one is, the first of them is, what do we want as Kosovo? When we discuss about our goals and priorities, usually this discussion is associated with these key terms and concepts. Jobs, justice, investment, exports, formalization, energy, environment, sustainability, education, and diaspora. These are the key terms that you will find in any meaningful discussion about the goal of this government, especially when it comes to the economic aspect. The next question that I want to address is, are we succeeding in achieving our goals and targets? And um, I would want to use here five indicators. Each of them has a specific role. If you want to create the analogy with basketball, each of the players on the team has a role. The center, the point guard, the shooting guard, small forward, long, uh, big forward. And I will use five indicators. Uh, we recorded a double-digit growth rate. This will be our center, so 10.7%. We increased our budget revenues by 30% in one year. Let's say this is the small forward. We managed to increase our exports by two-thirds in only one year. These are all numbers that relate only to 2021. Let's call this the power forward. We managed to increase our FDI by 22%. Call this the shooting guard. And we managed to create 35,000 jobs, out of which 10,000 are formalized jobs. And you know how difficult it is to reduce the informal economy and also how important for the business environment is to reduce the informal economy. The next question that I want to address in this opening speech is to look for the sources of this success. If the answer to the second question is yes, we were successful, the next question will be, but what contributed to this success? And I will want to point four strengths here. First, the quality of democracy. I see part of this indicators that I mentioned in the second question as a dividend on democracy, as a way how the business community but also households show the trust in the new institutions. The second element that is very important is the so-called political stability. Kosovo has been an exporter of stability in the past 18 months and this has been also reflected in a much faster path towards fulfillment of EU integration paths. The, sec the third strength is our successful anti-corruption policy. Uh, I think it was mentioned before, Kosovo jumped for 17 places in the Transparency, International Transparency Index, which shows the commitment of this government to rule of law. And the fourth element that I would want to address is the quality of our recovery packages. We had several recovery packages that addressed the, the challenges of the pandemic, but also the challenges of the energy crisis. And I will want to use this as an indicator or contributor to the success. The fourth question that I want to answer is, what do we offer to potential investors? What are the strengths of Kosovo vis-a-vis -vis the, the region? So why you should include Kosovo in the decision making when you decide on the perfect location for your investment. And I will simply list some of them without having the ability to elaborate. We have the highest internet penetration in the region. 
We have very attractive uh, labor cost taxes, corporate income taxes, and very good provisions for repatriation of profits. We have established a commercial court. We have euro as a currency which completely eliminates any exchange rate risks. We have very successful reduction in bureaucratic procedures. Now it's possible to create a business in two days. We have agreement with many countries on avoidance of double taxation. We have free access to EU market, and we have a preferential access to the US market. We have completely harmonized our legislation with that of the EU. Our laws are even being translated into English and published on the websites. Uh, we have completed a new strategy on anti-corruption and asset confiscation. We have uh, much advanced legislation on economic zones, private entrepreneurship, and innovation. We have excellent alternatives for outsourcing of the IT sector or business process outsourcing. We have an economy that enables you to produce at relatively comparative uh, and competitive unit labor costs. We have the ability to secure nearby producers in the supply chain. And let's say we have a competitive transportation networks, including the fact that Kosovo is very close to several seaports. Now I'm coming to the last questions. Uh, where do we see the potential for attraction of foreign investors? Or where do we have promising sectors? And I think on this, also other uh, panelists will talk, especially Mr. Zeka. ICT is one of these sectors with young, educated, and skilled, and multilingual labor that we have. Most of our companies produce in the IT sector mostly for the export sector. Then we have food processing and beverage industry that accounts for almost 10% of our exports and showed very high growth rates in the past. We have mining and energy, and I'm sure Minister Rizvanuli will talk more on this in her panel. We have automotive components industry and industry that used to be very efficient in the past. The resources are there, talent or the skills are there, we only need to tap it again. Winter tourism is also a very promising sector for growth and one of the fastest growing, growing economic sectors in economy is the wood processing in the industry, a sector that managed to double production in only two years. I will stop here and then be available for Thanks. discussion later. Fine.